You don't necessarily need to spend a lot of money on your streaming PC setup in order to have good Twitch streams, Mixer streams, or whatever. But sometimes you just gotta say, well, why not? Hello guys, how are you? My name is David Franco from twitch.tv slash David Franco. If you're not following me already, please do so. I really appreciate it. I stream six days out of the week six days and i've been loving it so lately i've been playing luigi's mansion 3 and modern warfare which i was just playing but then ups pulled up with this thing i have one quick thing to say about the go xlr and that's exactly what i'll be unboxing today while this thing is a godsend for streamers like you and myself seriously this thing was actually built with streamers in mind which is amazing finding this thing online at least available was not easy. Amazon has had this back ordered for weeks. And just the other day, I finally got a delivery estimate. Come here, get this. It was around Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So I went on bestbuy.com and I said, you know what? As much as I love you, Amazon, it's time to give someone else my money for once. And Best Buy, I ordered this, what, Monday or Tuesday? And it came today, Friday. So Best Buy. Well done. Either Amazon doesn't have enough inventory or there's some huge waiting list. I, I'm not sure. So with that said, let's unbox the Go XLR. Let me read off some features for you guys before I do this. Uh, basically, it's a revolutionary online broadcaster platform with four channels, motorized faders. That's pretty cool. This thing's not cheap. Soundboard and vocal effects. If you have a dual PC setup like I do, this thing is going to be an absolute godsend. And you guys might be wondering, well, David, why is this useful to you? You're, you're not exactly a Twitch partner. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to be a partner to put out quality content. I don't understand that mindset from some people. Um, but hey, content is content. And honestly, the biggest reason I want this mixer, well, two reasons. Number one is to just improve the overall production quality of my stream. Like I can, roll out effects whenever I want through literally the push of a button. And number two, I can easily turn down different audio sources, Spotify, Discord, without even having to touch my keyboard and mouse, alt tabbing. It's all about convenience. And the fact that this is built for streamers, that says it all. That completely says it all. So for me, I think it's gonna be worth the $400. And hey, if you guys wanna treat yourself, this will be linked right below. Make it happen, Captain. Plus it's the holidays. Holidays are quickly approaching. Okay, so the first thing we see is just a standard USB cable. Yep, there you go, USB. Nothing too exciting. Box within a box, that's always revolutionary, right? Power adapter, power cable, yep. Kind of like the adapter that goes on the adapter. I'm, I'm not sure what to call this thing. I've seen it before in other products. You literally just clip it onto the power adapter and you are good to go. But what is this called? Like the power clip? I'm not sure. Set it up off camera. Lots of foam. So if you love foam, you're gonna love this mixer. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> This thing is heavier than I thought because it's not pure metal. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of plastic, but again, motorized faders. This thing is not a toy. It's a $400 mixer. Woo! Let's touch that in a second. And baby, do I mean touch. And last but not least, there is more foam in there. A quick start guide, which I actually might reference but I'm gonna reference Alpha Gaming's channel. So uh, yeah, if you guys don't know who Alpha Gaming is, just search them on YouTube. They are much, much better YouTubers than myself when it comes to this sort of thing. This is simply an unboxing and nothing else. I have been unboxing products for over 13 years. This is by no means a how-to video, a setup video, review, first impressions, nothing. Unboxing and nothing else. Just wanna see this product together with you guys. This is a huge deal. I've been so very patient for this Go XLR. Ooh, baby. Look at this thing. Not bad, right? Not bad. We got motorized faders here. We got quick mutes for each channel. We have these buttons, which I learned through Alpha Gaming. You can record your voice. 
saying stupid shit like, I don't know, yo mama. And then you simply press it and it goes through the audio as if you're saying it. Yo mama, yo mama, yo mama. And guys, honestly, if I can feed that audio in game, like in Modern Warfare, then we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna have so much fun and I, I don't see why you can't do that. Um, over here we have effects such as Megaphone, Robot, and uh, Hard Tune. And we have an effects button. That might be your own preset. We have a bleep button. So if I say things like fuck and shit, then I can just be like, but instead of me being silent, it would just be beep, beep. So that's actually really cool, but I'm not a family friendly stream. I say all kinds of inappropriate things. So hey, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of a different David on Twitch than I am on YouTube, but I just said fucking shit in this video. So you know what? Anything goes, anything goes. Uh, we have one through six here. I guess maybe those are presets. We have a bunch of um, knobs here for reverb, echo, gender, gender, and pitch. Actually, that, that would probably be pitch. Um, yeah, as you guys can probably tell, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. This is going to be so cool. I mean, it's not just a toy. Obviously, there are a ton of fun effects you can do with like pitch and megaphone and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, for me, again, I'm going to say it one more time. It comes down to convenience. The fact that I can fade audio sources just like this without having to worry about, you know, all tabbing with my keyboard and mouse, that's huge. Okay, so let's remove the plastic film, the protective film. I don't see the best place to grab it. I guess up here. This thing's about to get a lot more premium looking. Here we go. Let's experience this together, shall we? Baby, baby. I've wanted something like this for a while. I just popped one of the faders off. I believe that's perfectly normal. Don't panic anyone, all right? Don't panic. Check this out. Boom. You clip it right back on. That's actually really, really useful to know just in case you want to take them off the clean. So, pretty cool. And on the back here, we have a ton of I.O. We have... Uh, line in, mic, headphones, line out. Looks like a Kensington lock, USB, optical for game audio. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to use that. I doubt it. And finally, power. We have something back here. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe for mounting. I am not an expert for with audio. And of course, XLR, which is a big feature in itself because I'm, I'm currently using the uh, Audio Technica AT. 2035 microphone, which is XLR. It's actually going through my focus right over there. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays with the focus right. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, so guys, there you go. A very quick look slash unboxing of the Go XLR. There is one more look. There's one more look with my face in it. What am I going to use for the thumbnail? Well, I guess I'll find out. Also, these are little screens. You can have them say anything you want, anything you want, which in itself should be a lot of fun. So, um, you know, with all the joking aside, this thing is going to be a godsend for streamers. And uh, honestly, it kind of already is. Based on all the uh, videos I've been watching, people love this thing like this company actually gets people like you and myself they understand that the average person like me we don't understand audio like I, I don't understand mixing boards and mixers and all that stuff audio is not my specialty I just want to sit down and put on a good show for you guys my audience again over twitch.tv slash David DeFranco so please follow me I appreciate it I am a variety streamer I'm not one of those streamers who only streams Siege 24-7 or Mono Warfare 24-7. Again, I'm currently in between Luigi's Mansion 3 and Mono Warfare um, with plenty more games on the horizon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, one more time, this is linked right below on Amazon. Hey, if you have an audio file in your life or a gamer or a streamer and you need Christmas ideas and you're willing to spend a little extra, check this out. Now for my second unboxing, I just got another headset in today. Uh, from Turtle Beach. It's actually a sponsored campaign, so that should be fun. I will be unboxing the Elite Atlas Aero wireless PC gaming headset. Stay tuned for that. Peace.